just where do you think you're going? This is most unusual. The turbo cycle seems to be out of control. What? That's bad. Switch over to manual. I'll take over. Understood. I switched to manual control. Well, how is it? <laughs> what the? We've got no brakes. Metal, check the brake system out. Pronto. Sorry, Gillian. Looks like sabotage. No doubt the snatcher's handiwork. Sabotage? But the only one who could work on the turbo cycle. Worry about that later. Gillian, we've got to do something quickly. Pull that emergency lever. Metal, pull that lever over there. All right, here goes. It broke. I guess we've had it. You can't be serious. At this speed, you'll be torn in pieces. We'd never survive it. It would be like jumping off the Brooklyn Bridge. It's a rather data damage, don't you think? What? Are you giving up? We'd never survive it. We've had it. There's nothing we can do. Don't give up so easily. There might be some way out of this. It might yet. What in the world are you doing? Uh, let's see here. What do we gotta do? Hit the cliff! I've got it. We'll try sideswiping the cliff. Hang on, Metal. Yeah, damn, even that won't stop it. All right, I'll try plowing this thing into the sand pile over here. Hang on tight. Yeah, damn, won't anything work? All right, let's try a long shot. I'll press the, this button here. And a good, good morning to you, my friend. <laughs> You've turned the radio on, Gillian. What are you doing? That was a switch for the afterburner. <laughs> Whoops. You boosted our thrust by 23%. Do something, Gillian. We're finished. It's been nice knowing you, Gillian. Shut up. There must be something. It's hopeless. We're moving at over 200 kilometers an hour. There's no way we can survive. Damn. The speed keeps increasing. Well, Metal, I haven't known you for very long, but it's been fun. Gillian. Let's pray together. Actually, I'm not that religious. <laughs> I didn't think so. That's it, Gillian. Prayer. Look, a new command has appeared on the menu. <laughs> Gillian, it's not much farther to Queen's Hospital, and you could probably use the exercise anyway. Why don't we just continue the rest of the way like this? Well, at least we survived that encounter. Barely, We've though. Arrived at Queen's Hospital. So, this is the place, huh? Random, are you sure you know what you're doing? This isn't going to be a field trip, you know. We may not come back. And the bounty for this one will more than make up for it. 
If you're around to spend it, that is. Gillian, let's get going. All right. Back inside. It's really quiet in here. There has to be an entrance to the lower level in here somewhere. Let's go to door three, because that was the only place that actually had a door back there. Or like an area. Pitch black in here, ain't it? Turn on the light. Alright, turn your light on. Yes, sir. Coming up. The light is now on. I turn control of it over to you, Gillian. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. You have the honors, Gillian. What's this? Face to face. Doesn't this look like the picture that's on the wall in the chief's office? That's a famous optical illusion, isn't it? I get it. Their eyes don't register optical illusions. We'd better check that out. It's not something a human would notice easily. It could be a sign of some kind. I bet this vase is some kind of a switch. All right, I'll try lifting it up. Oh! <gasps> the desk slid to one side, revealing a stairway leading down. Jamie was right. Queen's Hospital does have a basement. And that basement is the Snatcher's main lair. Out of the frying pan and into the fire, as they say. Well, what do we do now, Gillian? Let's take a peep. It appears to go straight down. Unlike the hallway, these stairs do not have any dust on them. In other words, our friends use this, right? I don't read anything on the moment. Well, let's go down. Okay, uh, who's going to take the point? That's obvious. The guy with the light. Hey, that's not fair. <laughs> Poor metal. Well, well, what do we have here? It's the hospital corridor. It's the same hallway, but not the one that's on the first floor. So what does that mean? An entire floor of Queen's Hospital has been duplicated underground. So the same floor is both upstairs and downstairs. Sort of like parallel worlds. So that desolate setup upstairs is all just a smokescreen. They're making it look like the place is closed down, but in reality, they're keeping themselves quite busy. Gillian, that means we're already right in the middle of their headquarters. Please use extreme caution. Don't have to tell me twice. There's a reception booth in the middle of the floor is upstairs, and there are three doors off to the hallway. Everything is exactly the same. It's like we've jumped through time or something. It's been polished quite meticulously. Nothing like upstairs at all. I see. It was a lino linoleum floor, huh? The monitors and control consoles are, are also appear well cared for. In other words, this stuff gets looked at regularly. We better be real careful. The monitors are switched off, but the AC power lamps are still on. It's still lit. That door is closed, obviously. The construction and design of the hallways and rooms is absolutely identical to the floor above. So that must mean there should be like a switch operation thing to open the doors, right? It's waxed rather it's waxed rather nicely. I just can't imagine a bunch of snatchers crawling around waxing floors. They seem to like things tidy, don't they? It's obviously used differently from the floor above. There are switches here too to open the doors. It has been used quite recently. The monitors are still warm. Quiet, Gillian. They will hear us if we make too much noise. They were just like chatting freely. Well, since unlike the first floor, the only, there are only two door switches. All right, I'll push switch number one. Okay, door number one opened. All right, I'll push switch number two. Door number two opened. But door number three didn't. Let's move into door number one. We're in room number one. The lights are on, unlike upstairs. Alright, let's look over the entire room. That's a snatcher frame. It's a snatcher! Don't scare me like that, it's just a specimen. Oh yeah, it's the same smell you get at just about any hospital, an operating one that is. I wonder if this is where they carry out their treatment. Sure looks that way. 
There's an operating table in the middle of the room. This appears to be their real treatment area. With these lights, it actually looks like a real hospital. Various x-ray devices have been installed in the ceiling. A number of brand new medical monitors are installed. It appears to be a standard operating table. Cables run from to a number of the machines around the room. It's a model of a human skeleton, no doubt used for anatomical study. There's nothing of note besides the medical equipment. Besides the standard X-ray, X and gamma rays, they can also project neutron and proton particle beams with this equipment. I would suggest that it is used in cancer treatment. These are monitors for ultrasound, MRI scanners, and they and other imaging equipment. They are already connected to the nearby machines. The surface of the bed is still quite warm. It's as if someone was lying there until just moments ago. I'm not picking up any movement, at least not anymore. There is a some movement, but I've lost it now. There is rather this is rather grotesque. It's somewhat distorted for a medical model. It's quite inaccurate. Hmm, skeleton's gone. It was definitely there a moment ago. Oh shit. I read movement. This room. Gillian, watch it. It's a snatcher. Shoot, aim for the head. Right between the eyes. Did I get it? The snatcher's functions have been terminated. There's no doubt now that this is their maintenance facility. This one was probably still waiting to get its artificial skin installed. So this is what they really look like, huh? Yeah, that's the scariest thing about them. You can't tell them from real people once they've got that skin on. Perhaps that's humanity's great weakness. We're always judging books by their cover. And it's just that human weakness that they're out to take advantage of. All right, Random. Metal, let's go. The HQ's junk squad can take care of him later. We've got an investigation to do. Oh, shit. Stay down. I think it's definitely dead or terminated this time. Yes, all its functions have ceased. I don't read any resi res residual, residual energy either. Thank you. Words. Aren't you hit? Are you hit, Gillian? Yeah, but just once, don't worry. That was quite a tough customer. You got a few hundred of those together, and that would be it. Gillian, let's get on with the investigation. Let's go out in the hall. Just like that last one, you never know when they might pop up. Keep your blaster ready, Gillian. Let's move to door number two. We're in room number two. Look at this, some kind of testing equipment is running. There's a real nasty sound. Gets on my nerves. 